Hi, welcome back to On The Volley. As you can see, I'm not outside the Shamrock Irish pub today, yeah? I'm at home, just in the back, just chilling out. To be totally honest, haven't been feeling too well the last few days, yeah? So, couldn't do the video yesterday, I'm gonna do it today. And obviously, it's on our game against them lot down the road, which as we all know, we won one nil. A few talking points, okay, and I'm going to give you my um, my opinion and my view on the game, to be totally honest. Now, they started off, scored a goal in the first minute, and uh, it was rightly so deemed offside. Then, uh, Kimar Roof scored, but he got penalised. Let's say it got uh, ruled out by VAR, yeah? I think it's mainly because he put his hand on Lagerbilt, yeah? Now, what Lagerbilt was doing, I haven't a clue, yeah? He, I mean, I, I watched it, I rewatched it. He was just hanging on to the ball too long. And I don't know whether he saw Kimara or not. I don't know what happened. To be totally honest, my opinion, that was a soft call and... Um, I think we got away with one. Look, I've got to be objective. If I was a referee, uh, or if I was watching VAR, <laughs> I would have given a goal. Look, you know, you, you, you can say what you want, but you've got to look at it this way. If that had happened to us, we would have been raging. We would have been raging. Now, I hear that uh, them lot down the road have made a complaint to the SFA, uh, asking for answers. I'll give them an answer. It swings and roundabouts. If you go and have a look, okay, at all the decisions that has gone in their favor, we go and look at all the decisions that has gone against us. That's football, it happens. They can sit there, complain and moan. I, I, I understand that. Because, like I said, if that had happened to us, I'd be moaning, I'd be pissed, I'd be complaining. I don't think I'd go to the SFA, okay, asking for answers, though, because the answer's clear and simple. Like I said, that's football. You're going to have some calls that go in your favour. You're going to have some calls that go against you. Now, if you remember when Far was going to come in, I did turn around and say, there are still going to be some controversies with Bar. And there are still going to be, okay, people that are not happy with VAR decisions. It's not infallible. They will make mistakes for us and against us. So it is what it is. You know, you can't complain. Anyway, you know, we, we, we had a chance to score. Uh, a great ball by Callum uh, McGregor. Puts it out to, well, just puts it down the line. Abada, who had another great game. Okay, runs in, gets a ball, crosses it, and Kyoga, he just tried to knock it in. It went past the keeper, but got to give it to them lot down the road. They had their, you know, they threw their players, uh, you know, in, they just threw themselves, put their bodies on the line, and, um, you know, they managed to basically block what was going to be a certain goal. Uh, we had Maida coming uh, in on that as well, yeah, for the rebound. Fortunately, didn't go to him, uh, and the ball was out. So, so that was our chance. What I will say, though, yeah, and, <laughs> you know, <coughs> excuse me, Michael Bill is getting a lot of grief. And to be totally honest, I don't blame him, okay? Because, I mean, you saw the first half, what was he doing? Because for me, the game wasn't much of a spectacle. It wasn't what I expected, okay, from a derby. Okay, derby, derby, whatever you want to call it. I call it a derby, yeah? Uh, I suppose it depends on how you pronounce it. You know, it just wasn't the kind, type of game that I was expecting. And that's not our fault. I, I wouldn't blame us because I think, you know, we're starting to gel. It's going to take a while. I said that, you know, Rogers needs a bit of time. And, you know, winning against them lot down the road, okay, has done him a lot of favours. 
But let's get back to Michael Bill. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. What was he doing in the first half? I mean, he's parked the bloody bus, okay? And it's just long balls for the striker to try and run onto and hopefully get the ball, okay? Looking for, I suppose you can call it a counter-attack, yeah? But for crying out loud, I mean, I haven't seen football like that, I think, since the early 1990s. Hold on a second, I've got a bloody wasp, yeah? Oi, fuck off. Right, that's it. <laughs> well, I'm back. Sorry about that, but um, as you can see, I've had to come back inside. Now, that bloody wasp, I felt something hitting my... My leg on two or three occasions, I looked down, this was, and he just wouldn't leave me alone, yeah? No way was I going to stay there and let him sting me. Anyway, let's get back to what I was saying. I mean, you know, that was old school football from Bill. You know, and the game's evolved. What is he doing? What was that? I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I was embarrassed for their fans. I really was embarrassed for their fans, yeah? It's ridiculous, and plus... You know, and I'm happy. I'm happy they done it. Okay, the team he picked. Come on, please. You've got all these new players that you've signed yet. Yeah? Danilo, Lamars, okay, Sima. Who, when they did come on, I thought they made a good showing of themselves, yeah? I mean, Lamar nearly scored but um, in the second half. But um, great first ball. Goes past our player. But as he goes to shoot, he trips. And that's why he didn't get a good connection. Um, I thought Danilo played well for them as well. I think that's a good play they got there. And Seymour as well. I thought he did really, really well. But anyway, enough about them, yeah? You know, it's, it's, it's Bill. You know, for me, I think they should give Michael Bill a new contract. Because <laughs> for me, he can stay there for life. As long as he's playing football tactics like that, okay? That was poor. Uh, that really was poor. You know, we're going into the end of the first half, yeah? Looks like it's nil-nil. Out of nowhere, out of nowhere, okay? The ball gets, from a Rangers players, gets headed out towards the middle of the field, gets knocked back in, and who was on it? That man, Kyoga. What a player, class. He let the ball bounce once, and then he's with his right foot, bam, back of the net. What can you say about that player? There is, I mean, there, is, there are no words to describe him, okay? Boom. End of the first half, 1-0. Great strike. Fantastic strike. Fantastic player. Anyway, we come out second half. Bill's decided he wants to actually try and start to play football. So they start attacking us. And you've got to give it to them. They did, you know, they did get, you know, attack us. Uh, you know, they made it difficult for us. Um, and they actually played football in the second half, okay? As much as I hate giving them any, uh, what's the word for it? Any, oh dear, um, credit or whatever. I've got to keep it real. They did actually attempt to play football. And they showed that if they did play football, you know, they might even have had half a chance if they'd started in the first half. The reason I was happy they finally started playing football and finally started putting us under pressure was that so our defence would have something to do. And I've got to give it to them. Our defence, I thought, were outstanding. I thought they played really, really well. And I thought we was um, well-disciplined in defence, yeah? We didn't really give them any opportunities. So, you know... I was well happy with it. You know, when I saw the starting lineup of our team, you know, I saw Liam Scales, and I thought to myself, oh dear, I'm not too sure. But the guy won the man at the match award, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, and it was fully deserved. You've, I've got to give it, I've got to give it to him, yeah. Um, Turnbull, he, you know, I'm not going to say Turnbull played badly. I just don't think Turnbull is that flair player and I would have started Odin Thiago home when he came on he showed okay his class he showed 
how, I mean, the guy's 20 years old, but he's already so composed, so assured. He's been likened to Martin Odegaard, yeah? And I tell you what, I reckon he'll become better than Martin Odegaard. That's what I see in his future. That's what I see as his potential and talent. Again, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. You know, but um, playing against a team in the first half where, you know, they're playing with a low block, okay, long balls. They're not going anywhere like that. Um, so they've got their problems. We've got ours. And our problems, and I'll say this, even though we won one nil, is I don't think we had the players on there to, you know, oh dear, you know, to split that, that creative player to split the defence. Okay, McGregor did one. Okay, then we had a chance to score a second goal. And I can't criticise Kyogo, but on this occasion, I will criticise him. He made the wrong decision. He had a barder free to his left. He should have just cut it back to a barder and it would have been 2-0. Instead, Kyogo took a shot and skied it. Now understand why he'd done it. He's a striker and strikers are taught to be selfish. Strikers are taught to go for goal. But Kyogo should have just cut that back for Abada. And I'll tell you what, Abada was not too happy with that, yeah? And he made his thoughts felt. Another thing I'll say, now, we know Abada has just signed a, an extension to his contract. Um, and like I've said before, doesn't mean a thing. It really doesn't mean a thing, yeah? And I think Abada has been really consistent. He's been one of our best performers on every game that he starts. But when he got substituted, I don't know if you saw the look on his face, yeah? Maybe I'm misreading into it. But he didn't look a happy man. He did not look a happy man. Um, and I can understand it because if you're playing football and you're one of the best performers on the pitch, you don't expect to get substituted. No player wants to be substituted. They want to play the whole 90 minutes. Uh, so when he did get substituted... I could tell by the look on his face, he wasn't too happy about it. He was not too happy about it. You know, he must have been thinking to himself, well, hold on a second, you know, you've just convinced me to sign a new contract, sign an extension to my contract. I'm performing, and I think I'm performing really well, and then you substitute me. Mm. Not exactly the best um, thing to do, I would say. To be totally honest, I love Maida. I would have taken Maida off and I would have put um, Yang on uh, and left the barter on. But hey, that's just me, yeah? I'm glad to see that um, Alex Bernabeu got a run out. Like I said, I thought he's been really, really good in pre-season. But I tell you what, if we don't play with our creative players, if we don't give them open, an opportunity to play together as a starting eleven, uh, if we don't give them the opportunity to gel, what's going to happen in the Champions League group stages? Is he going to wait? Is he going to wait and until it's too late before he realizes that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm glad that we won. I wasn't too impressed with the game as a whole. Um, still not too sure about Brendan Rodgers. Uh, he's got, he's bought himself some uh, breathing space. I've turned around and said we need to give him time, which we need, do need to do. And uh, let's just see what happens. In the meantime, we're going to the international break, top of the league, and we've got a four-point gap with him. You know what I mean? So... You can't complain, really. You know, you can say this, you can say that, you can say this. But really, we can't complain. Anyway, that's it for me. Short and sweet. Michelle, I'm out.